And now we get you the latest update on the snake venom drug case which involves popular YouTuber Elvis Yadav as well. Now the Noida police has got the custody of the accused in this matter and all the five accused have been sent to two-day police custody. Now, the Noida police wants to confront YouTuber Elvis Yadav with the accused Rahul Singh. Now, remember, Rahul Singh is the main accused uh, in this case and uh, the latest update that we're, we are getting as far as this case is concerned is that all the five accused have been sent to two-day police custody and uh, now Noida police wants to confront Elvis Yadav with accused Rahul Singh. Now, remember, Rahul Singh is said to be the main accused in the snake venom drug case. Now, this drug case came to the light uh, last week, which involves, and uh, si uh, again, six people case was registered, out of which one was popular YouTuber Elvish Yadav. Now, the other five people have been uh, sent to two-day police custody, but... Uh, uh, Elvis Yadav has uh, not been sent to the custody, but now Noida police wants to confront Elvis Yadav with the main accused Rahul Singh. So this this is the latest update that we're getting on this case. And now we have CNN News 18's Anshul Singh joining us on the story to tell us more about it. Anshul, uh, can you give us more update on this case uh, apart from uh, the police custody of the five accused? Uh, so yes, remember this case came to light last Friday. Uh, exactly one week uh, from today, and initially the name of FI, uh, the name of Elvis Yadav was in fact mentioned in that FIR that was registered by the Noida police. Post that we have seen a lot of action that has already happened and a lot of drama that has already uh, happened in this entire matter. Remember the SHO who had registered this uh, case was in fact transferred to the police lines as well because it was being said that the higher ups are angry with him because of the manner in which this entire case was registered without even investigating the name of Elvis Yadav since he was not present at the spot when this entire incident had happened. Post that, the five people who were arrested in this entire matter were initially sent to judicial custody which is a normal practice that happens in the state of Uttar Pradesh and uh, Elvis Yadav was in fact once called in to join in the investigation as well. That questioning went on for two hours and several questions were asked to Elvis Yadav about his whereabouts and if at all he knew who Rahul was. Now the main focus of the Noida police at this point in time is to establish some sort of connection between the main accused Rahul and his entire party of uh, five people with Elvis Yadav because that, what, uh, th that is something that has been mentioned in the complaint and this is hence a part of the investigation that has been done by the Noida police and hence they are trying to find out any sort of connection between Elvis Yadav and Rahul Singh. Now, late yesterday in uh, evening, what we have been uh, what we have been told by the sources in the police that a two-day police custody, in fact, to be precise, a 54-hour police custody has been uh, granted by the Noida court to the uh, Noida police. Now, the Noida police actually wants to go ahead and confront Elvis Yadav and Rahul Singh in the same room because remember the main accusation was uh, the number of uh, uh, Rahul Singh was in fact given to the members of the. Uh, People for Animals Foundation who had gone ahead and exposed this entire sting by Elvis Yadav himself. So yes, the main focus of Noida Police is to make sure that both these people sit in the same room and they are confronted at the same time so that uh, any sort of link, if at all there is, that could be established between them. But yes, at this point in time, if you look at the investigation that has been done by Noida Police, the hands of Noida Police are absolutely, absolutely empty when it comes to prosecuting uh, Elvis Yadav in this entire matter but if you see the other five people who have been taken into custody their problems are going to rise because uh, the, sna the snakes that have been recovered for them in fact uh, what had been recovered from them at least nine snakes were recovered from them out of them five were cobras and uh, the medical examination of these snakes also happened and in that medical examination it came out that the venom was derived from them which actually comes under animal cruelty and is punishable by seven years. So yes, the problems for the people who have already been arrested is going to rise over the next few days. But at this point in time, the Noida police is still empty-handed when it comes to prosecuting Elvis Yadav in this entire matter and hence they want to go ahead and confront Elvis Yadav with the main accused Rahul Singh in this entire matter. All right, Anshul, thank you so much for getting us all those details in the snake venom drug case. Now